everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video I'm actually really excited about um, I was on Instagram and I saw that trend moon had posted that Walmart had brand new beauty boxes um, I have not seen a beauty box at Walmart I know that um, like Target ha just had them I know that um, there was a couple of the places that have them but I have not personally seen one at Walmart this is not a subscription box they came out with six different ones so they have the glow for it uh, which is obviously highlight they have the latest in lips which is this one right here that we're going to be reviewing um, they have love my curls but let's see they have time for eyes refresh renew and extend for hair and they have the naturally inspired hair favorites box i think these are great boxes mine i did not see in walmart i went to two walmarts could not find them i actually placed my order as soon as i saw um they were online because they were going out of stock like really really fast so i placed my order on friday i saw that it said that my order would arrive on sunday and i'm just like the mail doesn't run on Sunday, so there's no way I'm going to get this box on Sunday. So I had, you know, wrote that off and I kind of thought to myself that I'll be getting this box on Monday. Well, lo and behold, Sunday rolls around and I get my box. Like, I don't know what they did or how they got it here, but I'm impressed. Like, Walmart did their thing. <laughs> they said it was going to be on here on Sunday and it was here on Sunday. Like, no joke. So kudos to them. I'm super excited that I'm, I get to review this when they said that it was going to be here. So that is a huge A plus in my book. Um, so each kit is $9.88. Like I said, I just, I got the latest in lips and I always review the Sephora favorites, the give me some nude lip kits. So I figured that this would be a good one for me to review for you guys. All right, so here is the box right here. The moment I saw this, I was like, wow, only $9.88? This is supposed to have a value over $38. Um, you get a Revlon, sorry, my dog. Uh, you get a Revlon Kiss Pump, Kiss Plumping Lip Cream, a Milani Amore Matte Lip Cream, a Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, a Hard Candy, Plumping Lip Gloss, L'Oreal Infallible Matte Gloss, and a e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator, which I'm really excited for that. So you open it up. This is what it looks like. I like the presentation on this. It is really, really nice. Um, it says, latest in lip favorites. Neutral matches everything. With advice from the beauty mavens like you, we selected some of our fave essentials for fuller longing nude-hued lips. Love the results. Show us your look. Have a suggestion. Let us know. Hashtag Walmart Beauty. So, yeah. I'm excited to go ahead and get this going. Just kind of slide this out. Voila. All right. So, we do get four full size. And I don't know if the lip exfoliator is full size or not. Um, this definitely looks like it would be a mini. But this, I can see where they say that the value, retail value is $38. So we're going to do regular swatches along with lip swatches. So let's just go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to start with Hard Candy. This is a plumping serum, volumizing lip gloss. This is what it looks like right here. I really enjoy the packaging. It's definitely unique. Um, this is in the color Sugar Sugar. I'm not really sure how much these are retailed for individually, um, but I will definitely look that up and try and have those posted down below for you guys. All right, so I need some kind of mirror. All right, so there is your applicator right there. Can you see that? Very pretty, kind of like a pearl pink. All right, so here is your lip swatch. The color is pretty. It is definitely a little bit sticky. Um, I don't really feel like a tingling effect to it. It is supposed to be a plumping, plumping lip gloss. It does have a really nice, like, not a minty smell, but a, I don't know, kind of like a 
it's hard to explain, like a cooling smell. I don't, I don't even know if that makes sense, but that's okay. It's definitely starting to gather right in here. Um, and I have a lot of lip glosses that I absolutely love, so I would not see myself actually picking this up personally, but it was nice to, to test out. So we're gonna move on to the next. Okay, so the next one we have is Revlon Kiss Plumping Lip Creme. Uh, this is the bottle right here. It is in the color Nude Honey. So let's see what, all right, so here is your applicator. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I like that. All right, so there is your swatch right there. All right, let's see if I can get this bad boy on my lips. Having a really hard time here. Okay, so here is the color right here. I think the color is really, really pretty. Um, I don't really feel like a plumping effect. I don't feel any kind of tingliness to it whatsoever. Um, I will say the applicator made it extremely hard to apply. I had to apply several, several times. Um, I kind of wish this was a doe foot applicator um, or maybe had some, I don't know, a different kind of tip on top, but it just made it extremely hard to apply. I had to use a lot of product in order to feel like I was kind of evening it out. Um, I think that might also, of course, have to do something with the product as well. Um, it was definitely a little bit patchy, but now that I actually have it on my lips, I do enjoy this color. Um, it's not the best lipstick in the world, but it's definitely not the worst. I prefer, I do like this better than the hard candy that I just tried. And if you have dry lips, I probably would not suggest this because I do have a little bit of dryness that has happened for some odd reason right in here. And I don't know if you can tell right there, but it's kind of clinging to it. Um, so this would definitely not be a good idea for dry lips. All right, so moving on, we have the Infallible Pro Matte from L'Oreal. Um, this is a sample size. I think the color is going to be really, really pretty. It seems to be, let's see, what's the color? Ooh, it's very tiny to read. Statement Nude, um, showing number 316. All right, so there is your applicator right there. Um, it kind of bends when you press it down. It's a pretty color. All right, let's see what this looks like from America on the lips. All right, so here is your lip swatch. This is definitely um, better than the first two. I like the color on this. I like the consistency on this. Very creamy feeling, very comfortable. Um, kind of has like a, oh, what does that smell? Um, kind of like a heart, like a candy smell. Um, but I really like this, okay. I wish maybe that this would have been full size and maybe the one of the other two would have been the mini but I mean I don't go through a full lipstick anyway so let's be honest this is gonna be perfect for me but I really enjoy this color oh yes so moving on okay so next we have Milani which I've heard really good things about their liquid lipsticks this is the lipstick right here. I really do like the tube. I think it is very, very pretty. Um, it's got a nice weight to it. This is in the color Adorable. All right, there is your applicator right there. Ooh, I like that color. That's very pretty. 
Let's see what this looks like on the lips. All right, so that is still the very first swatch. I did not go back in. Um, so I swatched it on my hand and I was able to apply the whole thing on my lips. Um, I really like this formula. Now this is a matte formula, so I do feel it drying down a little bit, um, but it's not too dry. Should we do a kiss test for this? Let's go ahead and do a kiss test. Oh, transfer proof, hello. All right, so this is the color. I think it is a gorgeous nude color. Um, like I said, it is transfer proof. <laughs> All right, so I could definitely see myself purchasing this in a couple more colors um, along with this color if I was to ever run out. Whew, guys, just so you know, I had to scrub my lips off to get the Milani lipstick off of my lips. Just a little FYI, okay? That lipstick is gonna go nowhere if you, once you put it on. It is not going to budge unless you literally sit there and scrub it off. So, just letting you know. All right, next we have the Maybelline um, Superstay Matte Ink. Uh, now, this is a really good lipstick. I actually, buy this lipstick my daughter does dance and she has to have a certain uh, she has to have the color pioneer for her being on stage and we need something that is not going to transfer onto her costumes um, and this definitely fits the bill for that and it is absolutely beautiful it lasts all day throughout her dances um, so I really really am a super big fan of this formula uh, this is in the color dreamer this is number 10 the applicator is a little hard to work with all right so there's your applicator right there and there is your swatch definitely a pink color <laughs> we'll see how this works out all right so here is your color right here um typically i'm not a huge fan of pink I mean, I, I don't reach for them often, but this is kind of like a soft pink, um, and I could definitely see myself reaching for this color. I think it's very pretty. The formula is super comfortable, like really, really comfortable. Felt really good going on, feels really good on the lips. All right, here we go. So little to no transfer. I don't know if you can tell. There was still a spot that was a little bit wet, but if I was to let it dry down completely, nothing would have come off. So, um, yeah. So the last thing we have in this collection, and I really like the packaging to this. This is the e.l.f. Lip Scrub. Very heavy packaging. Um, I like the feel of it. Ooh. Oh, look at that. That is how much product you get. So I'm assuming this is a full size as well. Put that back down. Oh, what does that smell like? That smells like, kind of smells like caramel a little bit. Hmm. So I'm definitely going to have to test this out a little bit later to see if it is a lip scrub. So um, I'm going to take a shower right after this and use this. So if I do decide to come back on camera and tell you my thoughts, um, then I will let you know. If not, I will definitely just write it in the description box down below. All right, so I am back and I do wanna give you that quick update even though I kinda of look like a hot mess. Um, I did use the e.l.f. scrub and I actually, it really did the trick. Um, you do have to get kinda of past that first layer um, in order to get to the part that's going to, I don't know if you can see because of the lighting. Um, you have to get to that scrub part, but it really does the trick and my lips feel refreshed and smooth. So 
that is a plus. So that is it for everything. I'm actually pretty impressed with this box being it is the first Walmart box that I have seen. You actually get five full size lipsticks in one mini. And this box was only $9.88. That is not a bad deal at all. Um, I really enjoyed this one. I really enjoyed this one. Um, the Milani I liked. I just didn't like that I had to scrub my lips off. But I mean, if I'm going to go out to dinner and I don't want something that is going to budge while I'm eating and drinking, then I would definitely go for this formula. That is it for this review, guys. I hope this was informative enough for you guys. Like I said, I do have a lot more of the descriptions down below as far as pricing goes for each one. Um, I have the list of what products are in this box, the colors. I will have that all linked down below. So um, if you guys did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button before you go. I post new videos every Monday and Friday. Um, and of course, every once in a while, I will throw in a surprise video. So make sure you stay tuned. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I will have those linked down below as well. And I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.